Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use an old program on your computer called Paint. The reason we're going to use this is because it's fantastic for helping to develop your mouse skills. Lots of you are very confident in using touch screens on tablets, but some of you have hardly ever used a mouse at all and it's a really useful skill. You'll need it when you go higher up the school and you might even need it when you go to work when you grow up. Now, it can be hard using a mouse at first, and you might even feel frustrated, but if you keep trying, you'll get better and better quite quickly. Okay, we're going to use paint today to make a picture using the shape tools, and we're going to base our picture on a story I'm sure you know called Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, now don't worry if I'm going too fast, because you can always pause the video, rewind it, and watch it again until you've got it, okay? Right, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what paint looks like. Okay, this is it. Very simple. It's a very old program. Now, for you to find it, you might need your parent or carer to help you. You have to go down to the left-hand corner of the screen where it says type here to search and you type in the word paint. P, oh, sorry, P -a -i -n -t, P-A-I-N-T, paint, and press enter. It will be the first app that comes up and you can open it. If you're not sure, ask someone to help. Once you've got it open, you need to check your page size. As you can see, my page, this white piece of paper over here, is tiny. I want it bigger. The first thing I check is how big it is. I want it to be at 100%, which means real size, real to life. So I go down to the bottom right corner, and at the moment I can see it's actually saying 50%. So I'm going to click the plus, and now it's 100. Still a bit small, so I think I'm going to move it. Now, look carefully at my mouse on the screen. Here, it's a large arrow. When I get closer to the edge of the page, ah, it changes to a line with two arrows on the end. Can you see? Large arrow, two arrows. When you've got two arrows, you can put your left mouse button down, drag your mouse across your desk as big as you want it to be and when you're happy you simply let go and now i've got a great big screen to do my drawing on okay so how does it work let's have a look up here at the top now the first thing i can see is a picture of a pencil and sure enough this helps you draw like a pencil you simply push down your left mouse button hold it and for as long as you are holding it it'll draw on the screen and when you let go it stops if you've drawn something you think hmm, not very good don't worry go up to the top here is a blue arrow it's the undo button when you press it it gets rid of what you last did okay if i select the pencil again this time i'm going to look at the size you can see i've got four different sizes of pencil here so if i choose the widest line you can see i get a thicker pencil now underneath the pencil something that looks a bit like a rubber and it is. You can change the size of the rubber as well, from small to large. And you hold down your left mouse button and rub out your work. When you've finished, you let go. Okay, I'm going to press undo to get rid of that. So what else is there? Here, you can see one saying brushes. And if you press this drop down menu, Ah, you get all sorts of different pens and brushes. The first one, paintbrush. Again, I'll put it onto the widest setting. Looks a bit more like a paintbrush. The next one, mm, fountain pen. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks very cool. Now we've got, oh, crayon. That does look a bit like a crayon actually, doesn't it? And we've got marker pen, I think. Oh yeah, that's good. And ah, I like this one. This one is spray paint. I wonder if I can change the colour to show you. I'll click into blue, make sure it's the largest size. Now hold down your mouse button and I'm doing spray painting. <laughs> Why don't you have a go with all these different tools now? Try out the pencil, the rubber and all the different types of brushes and see what you like the look of. When you've done that, Come back and we'll carry on with our video. So press pause now. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to undo 
all of my drawing for now because I'm going to show you the next thing we're going to learn and this is using these shapes. Now if you can use the shapes all the hard work's done for you so you've already drawn half of it already. Now let's say for example we wanted to draw the sun in our picture so we choose this sort of oval shape and we need to choose our colours. Now colour one is the outline around the edge of the shape. At the moment it says blue but I want it to be black. Now the colour inside the sun needs to be, that's right, bright yellow. Okay, but if I want my shape to draw with the colour on the inside, let's see what happens. Hmm, hasn't worked. The reason is we need to click on this button here, fill. It's a paintbrush, a paint pot, sorry, sort of falling over and it says fill. If you click it, at the moment it's on no fill. So we want to collect solid colour. Now when I draw it, I hold down my left mouse button, pull it across the screen until I've got a nice big circle, a nice big sun. Now it looks easy, but it's really easy. The first few you do you might end up looking a bit like this. Ah! <laughs> if it does, don't worry. Undo. Keep trying. Do it slowly until you've found the size you're happy with. Okay. Now, I've got my sun, but it might be quite nice to have some sun rays. So I'm going to go up and click on the line, put it on the thickest line. This time, I want the rays to be yellow, so I'm going to click on colour one yellow as well. And drag and let go. Drag and let go. All the way around until I'm happy with my sun. Maybe I could even fill in the background. To do this, I come over to this paint pot here, which is falling over, and it's almost the same thing. When I click that, I pick my colour, let's go for a light blue, and click the background. Ah, now we've got the sun in the sky. Lovely. Why don't you take some time to try drawing your own sun, and see if you can put the colour background in as well. When you've finished it, come back and I'll show you what to do next. So pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to get rid of my sun by just pressing undo. Let's have a look at some other shapes. Let's say, for example, we wanted to draw a house. Okay, so let's choose the rectangular one. The outside, colour one needs to be black, that's for our outline. But what colour is a house on the inside? I think I might make, might make mine a white cottage. So I'm going to do the same. Hold down my left mouse button, draw my cottage like that. Very nice. Now I think I want a roof. So I'm going to choose the triangle. And again, black outline, but I think I might make this a sort of red tile. Now to draw the triangle, if I start trying to draw the triangle here, look what happens. Whoa, that's no good. I'm actually going to start my triangle over here and pull it upwards until I've got it how I like it. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm going to go back to rectangle and I think I'm going to do the door. So this time the inside colour should probably be brown. There we are, drag it down. Now I knew I needed to start up here somewhere, but if you made a mistake and started here, don't worry, just press undo, have another go until you're happy with where it is. Okay, now I need two windows. So I'll stay on rectangle, but I'll change the colour to maybe, oh, I'm, you know what, I'm still, I've still got this selected. I need to click on the screen somewhere. That's it, now it's gone. Now I can change my colour, ready for the windows. Okay, here we go. I'm going to draw a window there, another one there. Very nice. If I wanted to, I could even get the line tool, draw some window panes. <laughs> there we go. Now, what about a chimney? I'm going to stick with my line tool. And I'm going to go up, up again. Click on a page somewhere. Go across. Lovely. I want my chimney to match the red roof. So I'm going to go over to the fill button again, choose color one as red. And now we have to be careful. If there's not a single gap 
it should fill. Fingers crossed. Yeah, looks nice. Now, what would make a good smoke effect coming out of the chimney? I know. Let's go back to brushes and choose our spray paint. Let's go for a light grey. Make it as big as I can. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And we've got smoke coming out of our chimney. Okay, maybe I could make my sky blue again. Oh, very nice. Maybe you'd like your hats to be sitting on the grass. In which case, take a line all the way from the edge up to the house and make sure there's no gaps. Now do it the same, the other side. But all the way to the edge of the page, there mustn't be any gaps. Now, when we go to fill, hopefully I've done it right, and if I have, I'll choose the green, fingers crossed, few. <laughs> now, sometimes, if you've left a gap, the whole screen goes um, green, but don't worry, just press undo and fix the problem. Okay, why don't we pause the video and have a go at you doing your own house. See if you can use the rectangles and the triangles and maybe some of the spray paint to see if you can make a house of your own. Okay, pause the video now and come back when you're finished. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to see, rather than pressing undo hundreds of times, I'm going to press file uh, and say new. Hopefully you can see that on your video. But do I want to save? I'm not going to save today, but you probably do want to save yours. So, brand new page. We are going to do some pictures based on Jack and the Beanstalk. So let's start off with the Beanstalk. I'm going to start with a line. Make sure I've got the black colour. And again, I'm going to go all the way from one side of the screen to the other without leaving a gap. Then I'm going to use my fill button. And I'm going to have blue sky and green grass. Okay. Now... A beanstalk is a great big, in the story anyway, a great big thick beanstalk going all the way up to the clouds. Hmm. I think I'm going to choose the rectangle and I'm going to make it green outline and a green um, inside colour. Here we go. Check my fills on solid colour. Yep, I'm going to drag it all the way from the ceiling. In fact, I might change it to the light green so we can see it. There we are. Great. Oh, I'm going to have to change that bit as well to the light green. Oh, too late. Never mind. Okay. What about leaves? Well, how about using the oval shape? So I'm just going to draw, drag it out like this. Drag a whole bunch of leaves. Some could be bigger than others. Some could be little all the way down to the bottom of the beanstalk. I could even draw some mini ones. <laughs> In fact, let's make these dark green. And these could be our beans growing on the green of the beanstalk. Okay. Now, my beanstalk is supposed to go right up to the clouds. How can we show clouds? Well, I think I'm going to use my spray can again, but this time I'm going to choose colour one and two, white. Make sure I've got the biggest setting and, oh yeah. And I'm just holding down the left mouse button and all the way along, not letting go yet, all the way until it looks a bit like the clouds. So the beanstalk stretching right up into the clouds. Okay, why don't you see if you can make a beanstalk from Jack and the Beanstalk. You could even add your cottage from before into the picture too. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at making the beanstalk now. Okay, welcome back. I am going to open a new page again and let's have one more scene from Jack and the Beanstalk. So once again, I'm going to choose the line. I'm going to go all the way across. Use the fill button to give myself a blue sky and green grass. Okay, 
Now, this time we're going to draw the castle. So I think I'll start with the rectangle. I want the outline to be black, but the inside I think it should be grey, because castles are grey, made of stone. Okay, so we want, oh yeah, big tower. Now I want another big bit of castle here. And another big tower here. Oh yeah, this looks good. Okay. Now we need a big door. So I'm going to change the colour to brown. Oh, no, not that. I forgot to click off, didn't I? Click on the screen. That's it. Now I can click on brown. I'm going to draw a big door. I wonder if I can move that over a bit. Yeah, there you go. Big drawbridge. Now, the windows are normally quite small. So I'm going to choose black. And, oh, I keep doing that, don't I? I'm going to put it back to brown and click somewhere else. Okay, so I'm going to change it to black and do a very thin window. They used to make them like this, so the archers could fire arrows out of the windows, but the enemy couldn't fire their arrows back in. Let's have one up here as well, the tower. Great, starting to look a bit castle-like. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, rectangle. I'm going to change the colour again, um, probably back to grey, and I'm going to draw the battlement. If you've ever been to a castle, you might have noticed that they tend to have a battlement for the goodies to stand behind. There we are, made of stone. Okay, now that's looking a bit more like a castle. I think now we need some flags. So I'm going to choose the line to do a flagpole up here. Let's have another one on this side. Now what colour should we do the flags and what shape actually? Should we go for a triangle to make a change? Maybe a purple, lovely purple flag. Okay, so I'm going to draw my, if I can turn it around, I want it to be on its side. I'm going to get rid of that, that hasn't worked. I'm going to say undo. Maybe I can try this one. It's a different shape for one, right angle triangle. Oh yeah, now that's more like it. Okay. One flag each side. Right. Who'd like to try and make that castle? That looks like fun, doesn't it? Okay, so using the shapes, I think all we used there was the rectangle, the line, and the triangle. So using the shapes, have a go, see if you can make your own castle. Okay, now that's pretty much all we've got time for today. But don't forget, you don't have to try and do all of this in one lesson. Take your time, keep practicing, see if you can come up with scenes from other stories that you'd like to draw and practice your mouse skills in paint. If you want to save your work, get a grown up to help you, or maybe an older brother or sister. You'll need to click on the file, which is at the top, and you need to click on not just save, but save as. Okay. Right. Let me finish this screen and say goodbye and see you next time.